Buenos días. Good morning. Thank you, all the members of the press, for coming to this brief press conference. And many thanks, uh, Jens, uh, Secretary General, for uh, your commitment with Spain and your leadership uh, uh, in NATO, because uh, in these very difficult and complex uh, times, uh, you've been uh, leading uh, uh, the allies, and uh, we, you represent all of us, all the allies, and uh, we're really grateful for your work and your leadership. And now I, I turn to Spanish. Muchísimas gracias, Secretario General. Thank you very much, Secretary General, for your leadership, for your commitment to Spain. And firstly, after this visit, my first visit to this venue, uh, to, I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate the technical team, the NATO Secretary General's technical team, obviously also the technical teams of all the ministries of the Spanish government that are involved, also of the region of Madrid, the city of Madrid, and IFEMA itself, which has helped us with human and material resources to be successful at such an important summit. And without a doubt, also to the state security forces who are helping us to ensure something that's very important in this summit undoubtedly security. And so my heartfelt thanks to all of you, to all public servants from NATO, from all other administrations. I'd like to thank you on behalf of Spanish society and the Spanish government for all your work during all these months to make this summit a success. This will be the first summit in the history of NATO with the largest number of heads of state and of government. We are also going to have the participation of the countries of the Indo-Pacific, New Zealand, Australia, South Korea, and Japan, who are going to participate tomorrow afternoon in a session to debate what the global challenges are and to have even closer cooperation. We will also have an informal dinner at the Prado Museum with the NATO allies and the EU member states. Um, in short, I think the goal is clear. It's very, uh, uh, it's a very clear goal to convey a message of unity on the part of the allies, of unity even beyond the allies, the EU member states, the EU as a complementary organization to NATO, and also the countries in the Indo-Pacific, a message of unity, democracies coming together to defend democracy, to defend the values that unite us, freedom, political pluralism, respect for human rights, and also the defense of a rules-based international order. And when we talk about rules, we mean the United Nations Charter and, of course, the Washington Treaty, which defines this important alliance. For Spain, this summit is very important, firstly, because we will have the honor of the new strategic concept that will define NATO's work in the next 10 years to be called with the name of Spain's capital city, Madrid. So we are very grateful to the UN sec uh, to the uh, NATO Secretary General for choosing Spain for this uh, summit. Secondly, because in addition to that new strategic concept, we are all um, uh, waiting for the uh, what happens with the talks of the Secretary General to enable the accession of two very important European countries, Finland and Sweden, to NATO. We uh, wish the Secretary General every success, and we are convinced that if it's not now, it will be later, but eventually they will join the Atlantic Alliance. And thirdly, because we are incorporating into the strategic concept something that's very important for the south of Europe, which is the 360-degree strategy, the perspective that includes the southern flank as an element that we have to keep our eye on and that we have to focus on in forthcoming months, especially in the Sahel. Uh, what, what we're going to do in this summit is firstly define what threats we're going to face now in the present and in the future. Secondly, specify what resources we are going to make available to counter these threats and how we are going to address them. And thirdly, to consolidate an Atlantic alliance that after Putin's invasion of Ukraine has 
become even clearer how important its relevance today and in the future. And I would like to conclude as I started, thanking the entire technical team of the all the different administrations and of NATO for all their work during these past months. Um, lots of people won't see that work, but it's essential for the summit to be a success. Undoubtedly, I want to uh, give my most heartfelt thanks to the media and to the state security forces because they are guaranteeing the security of all of us. And once again, thank the Secretary General of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, for all his commitment and work. So you have the floor now, Jens. Thank you so much, uh, Prime Minister Sanchez. Uh, De Pedro, it's uh, great to be back in uh, Madrid. Uh, great to see you again, and thank you so much for welcoming me and my delegation uh, to this uh, beautiful venue, to this uh, place uh, uh, which is actually magnificent uh, and uh, an ideal place to host uh, a NATO summit. So also many, many thanks to you and to uh, the government of uh, Spain um, for hosting the uh, NATO summit. Uh, this will be a transformative and very important summit and you have uh, provided the perfect, the best uh, thinkable possible uh, uh, facilities for conducting uh, this uh, important uh, NATO summit here in Madrid. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, His Majesty for um, hosting the dinner tonight with uh, all the allied leaders, heads of state and government, but also with uh, our partners who will participate throughout uh, the summit in different uh, meetings and, uh, and formats. Um, and uh, I would also like to thank uh, all the technical staffs, uh, both the Spanish technical staffs, but also in the NATO, who have now worked uh, seamlessly, seamlessly together for many weeks, uh, enabling this summit to take place. Then I would also like to thank you personally, uh, Pedro, for your personal commitment to the transatlantic bond, to NATO and to the importance of uh, Europe and North America standing together, um, and also for the many contributions that uh, Spain is making to our shared security, to our collective defense. Uh, Spain contributes to NATO uh, missions um, activities in the Baltic countries, um, uh, um, in Iraq. Uh, you host uh, the NATO um, uh, ships and the US ships at the Rota base, and you uh, participate in many different uh, missions and operations, and we are grateful for all of that. And this strong Spanish commitment to NATO is then demonstrated uh, with um, the fact that you now are hosting uh, the summit um, and also actually uh, that this happens the same year as you mark the 40th anniversary of Spain uh, joining our alliance. The Madrid summit will be a pivotal summit. We will agree a new strategic concept, the Madrid strategic concept, that will be the blueprint for NATO in a more dangerous and unpredictable world. We will uh, agree a fundamental shift of deterrence and defense with more high readiness forces, with more forward uh, defense, with more pre-positioned equipment. We will uh, agree a comprehensive assistance package to Ukraine to help them um, uphold the right for self-defense. Uh, it is extremely important that we uh, are ready to continue to provide support because uh, Ukraine now faces a brutality uh, which we haven't seen in Europe since the Second World War. Uh, and then we hope to make progress on the accession of, uh, of Finland and, uh, and Sweden. Uh, and then, of course, we will also then uh, state that to uh, be able to defend uh, in a more dangerous world, we also need to invest more uh, in uh, our uh, defenses. So I really look forward to this uh, historic summit in Madrid. Thank you so much once again, uh, Pedro, Prime Minister Sanchez, for hosting us. And, uh, and it's great to be here at this uh, very um, well-organized venue for a well-organized and important historic uh, summit of NATO. Thank you, Jens. Thank you. Thank you once again for the, um, the media.